Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from My Heap. <clears throat> so we just finished up the uh, apron, so now it's time to start on the saddle. I want to get it cleaned up and kind of look and see what uh, kind of issues that we have going on. Now I've slid the uh, saddle off the bed quite a while back, but anyway, um, of course, you know, we have the two screws here that uh, hold the apron on. So, and off to the side here, we have the thread indicating dial. Now, the, the thread indicating dial, I've just uh, kicked up to the side out of the way. You can tighten this down with your tool post wrench if you have one. Uh, it's 3 8 so we're just going to pull it off. And, uh... <clears throat> On mine, um, I'm missing uh, two of the, maybe you can see here, uh, I'm missing the back way wiper on uh, the right hand side and I'm missing the front way wiper on the left hand side. But I did manage to find on eBay some replacements and I have those here and they're in better shape than the ones that I got. So these are the ones that I'll be using. But anyway, more on that later. Okay, so the next thing uh, to do here is let's take off uh, the way wipes. They're just held on with a, a screw. Oh, and by the way, there's a, a gib that rides in the back of the, uh, uh, of the saddle. Uh, so, you know, be sure to keep an eye on that so it doesn't fall out on you. So let's take these way wipes off. They're just held on with a little flathead screw. Okay. And... <clears throat> Take the other one off. All right. All right. So next <clears throat> um, would be the handle. Uh, hopefully that's in frame. So we have a, uh, I believe this is a five eight nut that I just dropped. And the handle, of course, is held on with a woodruff key. And then another nut. <clears throat> I think the flats, uh, the flats across this one here are nine sixteenths. You'll need a kind of a thin wrench when you go to put it back together so that you can adjust it. And then of course we have the collar. The micrometer collar has a little flat screw in it that you can loosen. It should slide off. It does. And then um, <clears throat> then you have this big nut here. Now this this uh, or well it looks like a big nut, you know, holds your has your graduation. I've previously loosened this, but that will require a inch and three eighths wrench. It's a it's a big one. I had to I had to buy one. Cost me twenty five bucks. It's probably not the best quality. Probably be the only use that it'll ever get. But that will undo that nut. I guess if you have a big pair of um, of a crescent wrench you know you could probably use that on there I think that's what Mr. Pete used on there on his although he you know I think he cringed pretty hard when he done it so anyway this will unthread <clears throat> of course it'll, it'll come off the screw and the and um, someone want to point out there's a little hole here so when this is lined up with the mark that little hole should be lined up with this oil hole so that you can get oil on the screw so the whole the screw assembly comes out at that point, um, and actually you could have left the handle and everything on, just unscrewed it and pulled everything out. The gear, <clears throat> I believe, is held on. I'm not sure how. Oh, it looks like there's a Woodruff key there, so it looks like you could take this whole assembly apart. But that's as far as I'm going to go with it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, the next thing is the. Uh, one thing I want to point out, there should be like two little set screws in here to just plug these holes so you don't get junk down in them. Uh, mine are missing. If somebody knows uh, 
what size these are. I think I got some small taps in it. Maybe I can just kind of run down in there to figure out the threads or some small screws. But if somebody knows what uh, what uh, size these are, uh, that would be really helpful to me. Okay, and then finally over here on this side, we have the saddle lock. Now this normally has a uh, uh, a square headed bolt like the tool post and like the um, threading gear. Um, mine just has a socket head cap screw. If somebody would be nice enough to give me some dimensions on this uh, screw that's on theirs, you know, I would kind of like to make that one of my first lathe, you know, one of my first lathe projects. So that's the saddle lock. And so that's everything on the top side. On the bottom side, um, we have uh, two ways clamps. Now, um, basically, you know, being a square ways bed, the um, the ways clamps clamp up underneath the way bed, and there's usually shims that adjust the play so you don't have much up and down play on the bed itself and then of course you have the gib in the back with the gib screws that <clears throat> keep it from rocking and twisting this way so I'm going to take these off and one thing I notice is that uh, I have all filisher head screws except back here and back here I have two hex head screws so I'll probably just for the sake of completeness I'll probably uh, hit up fast and all and see if I can find a couple um, more filister head slotted screws. So let's pull these off and see what's under there. <clears throat> they're in there good and tight, that's for sure. Now I do want to note that the front clamp is narrower than the back clamp <clears throat> and that note is more for me <clears throat> than you guys because I got to put this thing back together. So let's pull these screws out here. Ah, boy, that was tight. And let's see what we got in here. Or under here. Alright, so this should just pull off. And if we look, we see there's a very thin shim. So we'll have to make sure that we keep those together. Lots of uh, crud built up, gunk. I'm going to get that all cleaned up. So that is the front way clamp. And then in the back, <clears throat> we'll just turn this around. So in the back here, you know, we see our um, gib adjusting screws and our rear clamp. Let's pull the rear clamp off. Those look to be quarter 20 by about, uh, looks like a half inch or so. And of course, I got two hex head bolts. Just take these off. Those are a little longer. Those look like three quarter. And when we lift this one off, again we have a shim. So we want to make sure we keep those together. The back way does look like it has a little bit wider shim uh, piece than the other one, but I'm going to do my best to keep these uh, separate. And, and there's just all kinds of gritty gunk here, so this needs a good, thorough cleaning. So that's uh, pretty much the entire... Um, I'll have to get a small wrench to pull the, uh, uh, the gib screws out adjusting screws out um, but that's pretty much the entire casting stripped down um, taken apart so not a whole lot to it have no idea what that little little screw there is somebody added and it's just gonna live there I guess okay so the next thing that I need to do is uh, get all these parts uh, cleaned up uh, the threads cleaned out and when we come back we'll reassemble so uh, i tell you what, I'm just going to make that into another video because uh, i got a lot going on today and we're getting close to Christmas and 
and uh, hopefully, I don't know how long if I get this done today or or sometime this week. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and leave it off here. This is a short one. Uh, surprising for me, isn't it, guys? And uh, we'll pick it up in the next video. So uh, thanks again for watching. Thanks again for all your help. And again, if somebody can help me, if they have the dimensions on the uh, saddle lock bolt, which is normally a square-headed bolt, um, uh, I'd like to make one. Um, when I get the lathe running and I, there's a few other pieces that I want to make uh, so I think that would be a good uh, uh, maybe good beginners project maybe be over my head and I'm sure I'm going to have lots of questions but um, after the lathe goes together um, I probably will look at um, uh, trying to trying to machine. I've watched a lot of videos. I think I've picked some stuff up. I sure hope I have. Uh, people like Mr. Pete and Keith Finner and and uh, Keith Rucker and and uh, Richard from uh, Making Something from Nothing and uh, the the list just goes on and on and on. Ox Tools. Um, these guys have uh, shared a lot of information, and I am hoping that uh, I have absorbed enough through osmosis or something that uh, I can learn how to do this. So thank you for your support. Thanks for watching. And uh, Merry Christmas to you um, if, if uh, you see this before Christmas. And other than that, have a blessed day.